everybody we're back with another foundation review i'm gonna just bring you in a little closer just from the beginning so you can already get a great close-up look of my skin hopefully that that helps you if you don't know already i'm gonna be trying the synchro skin radiant lifting foundation from shiseido usually japanese foundations are um, lighter coverage but i've just been finding that a lot of the shiseido one has some pretty good coverage so i'm excited to try this one out it is a medium to full coverage foundation which is great because i actually have some more things beyond texture to cover if you can't already tell um i don't know what's happening here i don't know why that's red um but here there's definitely like a raised bump sticking out from my skin no whitehead or anything this has been here for almost a week now no idea why i get like bumps right under on both sides and and they don't like erupt or anything i don't know what to do with it it's just like uncomfortable and firm and not fun um beyond that i did have like an amber amberized crystallized formation that was forming underneath here like one of the sebaceous glands i don't know how to describe it formed something that like wasn't pus like i'm sorry if this is too deep but i'm just giving a rundown of what my skin is like um, but it finally came out and yeah, it was like this Compacted Almost very hardened little capsule that came out of my skin and now it left behind a Scab, okay, which I'm not into scab picking That's not how I got my scarred face. This was purely from like whenever I had Huge ready to go gushers and like blackheads. That's that was my that was my kink anyways and beyond that, you know, we have the regular, 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 schmegular texture of scarring. So we're going to see how this goes. It is a luminous foundation versus a matte or skin-like satin finish. So I'm very interested to see what that means in terms of how it's going to go. I like that it didn't say dewy or glowy. I'm guessing that's what it's going to be hinting at, but I'm, you know, fingers crossed that that's not the case. I have the shade 330 Bamboo and I'm gonna put that on my skin and I'll do half my face with a sponge. Maybe this side of my face with a sponge, this side of my face with a brush and see which one I like better and then continue on from there. I'm freshly washed. I put toner on and then I put some moisturizer on, the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige water bank moisturizer on my face i tap that in everywhere that i could because i believe that it just makes foundation look a little better it's that k beauty hack right and then i'm also going to be putting in the all-nighter face primer i'm gonna put that just in my like porous areas so to speak just to fill those in like the place where foundation is moving about the most on my skin so that's here the center where the most oils are. I have my coffee, half caramel, half coffee nut. Hashtag bring back the butterscotch latte Starbucks, please. Another year on this hellscape where the pistachio latte comes back and the butterscotch doesn't. Arguably the best flavor that Starbucks has ever created. Absolutely unfair. Okay, that, if you can see in real life, darker than what I'm looking for. Uh oh, I, I do have the 220 linen. So we're gonna, we're gonna play around here. I can't believe it. Okay, linen's actually a little better. It's a little light though. Maybe I can mix the two and just see how that works. Um, I'm gonna actually wipe this off because sometimes if I continue on with the review and just utilizing what I have on my face, it doesn't work out as well as I thought it was. it would. So I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna reapply my my stuff and then try again okay i mixed linen with bamboo could use a little more linen i think in the mix but that is getting there it's a little darker though is it not it's not bad it matches more with the outside of my face but that's for the contrast but i'm also really red but that's good enough Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna go with it. And there she is. Um, as I'm trying to wash it off my hand, it's doing this great thing to show that I guess it's like sweat proof and stuff. And 
a little more water resistant like the water is just falling off like that's forming bubbles and separating on my hand so pretty cool demonstration over there i did have a claim as to being um able to withstand all day wear <laughs> immediately yes it is very high coverage i think you can see it canceled out a lot of my redness overall and because of that i think i am liking the sponge application a little more just because it's adhering better to my skin like working around the bumps without creating too much of an unsightly layer that makes my skin almost look like it melded together after being burned whereas on this side it's just a little too thick for my liking you know it's creating my sharp edge it's softening up the sharp edges of my um acne scars and to me that doesn't look natural <laughs> so uh, yeah just trying to bring you in so you can see that though and you can kind of maybe you like this look so just just decide for yourself. Um, also, the sponge took away some of that shine, which the sponge usually actually adds when it's a, a matte foundation. So it's really interesting to see, you know, when it's a more luminous formula that uh, it actually softens up that that shine, if you can see it. Um, and yeah, and I'm not a shiny person, so I kind of am gonna just go over the side. So I, I like it <laughs> just to start off with, you know, give it a really good shot. I'm gonna. Soften it up with my sponge. Um, for it being full coverage, however, you can still see my scab pull through, but it is really hard to cover that type of texture on the skin, so I'm not docking any points for that here. Sometimes a trick you can do because that's it's literally like sheet rock, isn't it? A scab. <laughs> so you gotta sometimes put on your concealer or your foundation, whatever you're doing to cover up blemishes. And you gotta let it sit a little bit so that it gets tackier, it gets a little bit more grip versus going, it's gonna, you know, share out over that, that slab of completely different color to your skin, you know, that's darker and is not a skin-like texture. So this is a lot better now. Let's try to see if that worked. Sometimes using a brush is a little better. Yeah, see, even with my concealer, it pops out a little bit. So, you know, but I always like to see if the foundation does anything. Maybe it's a miracle product, who knows. Uh, yeah, and I'll just finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Honestly, I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'm pretty much probably just going to focus on my skin and mattify with a powder. Put my blush on, at least. And that's it. I'm going to put on a little spray. This is it blush blush just to see if it can survive um on this foundation it says all day wear okay it doesn't really give a hour goal for that um and the foundation also says there's going to be 24 hour hydration so i'm guessing even like after you take it off it'll be hydrating just from having it on all day or you're wearing it for 24 hours which you probably shouldn't do We'll see. We'll see how I feel um, at the end of this, though. I'm only aiming for eight hours, so um, I think that's being very generous, right? We're not trying to test the, the claims too crazy over here, um, but it should at least reach that eight hour mark, right? Okay, no, no foundations going out saying four hour lasting power, only eight hour wear. You know, they're, they're going and shooting beyond that, so I think that's safe to, to expect at least the eight hour wear. And of course, I always mist over everything with the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray, and the bridal version. Always gotta add that because if not, a lot of these foundations would not be lasting that well on my skin because it's really greasy and oily. And how do you take off makeup? With oil. So it's just not fair. It's not fair and I'm trying to make it fair. Now, coverage-wise, with a sponge, what I can see um, gives you more of the medium-high coverage. But if you want that full, heavier coverage then definitely use the brush as you saw i really didn't like what it made my skin look like i mean it looks so much better now that it's been sheared out a little bit but if you like a heavier look you have better texture you're just covering up redness 
then by all means go with this with the with the brush and you might have some success however i still don't think with the brush that it provided as much coverage as a state double wear for example you know a state double wear they do not play but also i don't see um as much coverage as even the infallible 24 hour brush wear foundation specifically when you apply it with the makeup sponge okay you can apply this with your uh, another sponge like your your beauty blenders whatever whatever um or with a brush you can use your fingers whatever your choices um it's not going to be as high coverage as when you use brushes like this okay when you rub that in and you like swipe it like that it's crazy the coverage is unmatched so that's why it is really important uh, to choose the right kind of applicator for what you're going for okay but i really wanted to um cover up my face for like photos and stuff when i went on vacation i did this and let me tell you it survived through a lot of misty rainy conditions um and it it definitely covered up everything it was crazy okay so we're gonna we're gonna wear this out for four hours and then i'll take another video just to check in and then eight hours catch you later and we're back my little weenie dog is down here oh, sorry it scared him i'm always scaring you with my fast movement huh oh he's so happy he's such a happy baby i'm back it's actually been closer to six hours and four hour check-in um but the reason why i waited a, a little longer and i do have a reason okay i didn't just forget like i usually do um is because i really didn't notice any um oiliness i guess is the, is the right way to put this look at my skin i usually within four hours you know i do see a little bit of that shine peeking through but i mean it's been six hours and this is really minimal so that really really impressed me actually i think overall it looks a lot better uh than when i first put it on because it was just a little too strong i didn't love the way the sun uh my skin looked like when the sun shined on it because it just I could just notice my pores a little more than, you know, if I just wore no makeup. But overall, I think it looks really nice. I will say there is a hint, and I'll bring you in, a hint of that settling that I usually talk about um, in my pores. Maybe you won't see it, you know, in which case, not the biggest con because if you can't see it um, from this zoomed in angle, like what hope does anybody else who's actually talking to me in real life have? It's just something that I'm seeing as I'm looking in um, a mirror. Let me stretch my skin out. Do you see that at all? It's kind of, it's like dryness, just the product settling inside of certain areas. And in a very, very subtle way, okay? Not huge, not entirely covering up and pulling in, just like building up almost as if uh, it was a powder and you went and you aired it out a little bit across um, of a desert okay and it like got caught on a couple of rocks <laughs> if that makes sense so, so there are the pros on it and a little bit of the cons but here's my major one um it just doesn't it seems like it completely came off of my nose i don't know which is so weird because again i'm not noticing a lot of oiliness pulling through so it's nothing excessive no slipping and sliding of product in other areas in any major way just I don't see it on my nose and especially you know in these these areas it just, it just looks like it's completely gone off so I don't know what that's about so for that reason I'm kind of like well, we should end this review here because it just looks like it's gone <laughs> from this area and it's not gonna come back you know in a few hours um, so I just don't see it I don't see the point in that um, so that's why I'm like, oh, maybe it's not so bad of a buildup because the product sh is just not there. Very odd. I didn't blow my nose or anything. I'm not sneezing. Um, I, I haven't done anything out of the ordinary from what I usually do with my other foundation uh, reviews and testings. I haven't even taken a nap, really, so. And I don't wear glasses, so yeah, nothing, nothing is touching that area, really. But yeah, you can see all my, my freckles poked through again just nothing on here 
it looks like my regular nose um, aside of a little bit of uh, less redness because in the beginning of the video, you know, I, I had been touching my face. I was putting moisturizer on. Um, I had just showered, so I scrubbed it and stuff. So that redness would go away um, through time anyway. But if uh, the hydrating claim is what's making my oily skin not come through as much, then hey, that checks out actually. It's kept me, kept me hydrated. And another thing is that I just don't notice the brush. The the brush, the blush on my cheeks anymore. Maybe a little bit of a hint of it, but for the most part, it is pretty much gone. Um, when I was looking at the four hour mark as well, yeah, um, not doing great on that front, even with my spray to help the makeup last longer. So for that reason, um, this foundation is just a bit of a miss for me. Not terrible, you know, I, if I went out and it was like this, I'm not gonna be embarrassed or anything. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's gonna be the end of this review everybody uh sorry to be anticlimactic but we're at the end of it there's not much more uh it can i can report on if it's gone from a major part of my face um, i don't see it getting um that much better in two hours so there it is here's another up close view of everything around me If you like initial heavier coverage and then it like not being that heavy the rest of the day then go ahead try this out but I don't know usually I have an idea of who this would be good for and I really can't nothing's coming to mind as to what audience this might might work for so um, let me know in the comments if it works for you or you have a uh, different experience with it all right thank you for watching and I'll catch you later um, with another review bye bye